an important scientific breakthrough was all but confirmed today. Physicists believe they have finally found the Higgs boson, a subatomic particle that's a building block of the universe. The initial discovery of the so-called God particle was first announced last July, but since then more than double the amount of data has been analyzed to confirm the particle's existence. For more on what it all means, I spoke to theoretical physics professor and author Michio Kaku just a short time ago. Why is it called the God's particle, Michio? Well, first of all, by coincidence, it's Einstein's birthday today. <laughs> and what a birthday present. After 50 years of speculation, after spending 10 billion euros, we have finally found the Higgs boson in the laboratory outside Geneva, Switzerland. And we think the Higgs boson in turn could be a missing piece of the creation of the universe, the Big Bang Theory. You know, the Big Bang Theory says nothing about <clears throat> how it banged, what banged. However, we think that a Higgs boson of this type perhaps was the fuse that set into motion the creation of the universe. It put the bang in the Big Bang. Okay, I can't resist that. It's my son's birthday as well. I didn't know he shared it with Einstein. But 14 billion years ago, as you say, the world went, the universe went bang. Is this telling us then why the bang took place? Well, we think at the instant of time, the universe was a singularity. Think of a perfect crystal, a crystal that's symmetrical in all directions, but it was unstable. There was a Higgs boson that caused an impurity which caused it to bake apart into the expanding universe of today. So in other words, the Higgs boson gives you symmetry breaking. It broke the symmetry of the original infant universe to create the galaxies, planets, you and me, and the atoms of today. That's why the Higgs boson is so critical. We are all children of the Higgs boson. <laughs> okay, I'm confused because I was also told that this is what gives us mass, gives us matter. That's right. This boson is nothing but a part of a family of Higgs bosons, which each one does a certain thing. This is the lightest of the Higgs boson, and at the beginning of time, all particles had no mass. So this particle, when it broke the singularity, gave us particles with mass. However, another Higgs boson, we think, actually set the fuse, actually lit the match that ignited the universe and gave us this cosmic explosion uh, 13.7 billion years ago. Okay, I'm not feeling so bad about being confused. It cost a hundred billion dollars to get to where we've got to today. What are the practical benefits of these experiments? Well, this machine costing about ten billion dollars is not going to give us better color television. We're not going to have better net internet reception. We're talking about a machine that'll take us right to the, the beginning of time itself. By slamming protons together at trillions of electron volts, we are creating a mini Big Bang on a microscopic scale. And we are privileged, privileged to witness this, this event in, in happening right before our eyes. We are in some sense recreating the process of creation itself. And you were right, it was 10 billion. I misread it, not 100 billion. So you reckon it was 10 billion well spent? I think so. And by the way, the next step beyond the Higgs boson is to find dark matter. We know that most of the universe is actually invisible. It keeps the Milky Way galaxy together, in fact. And the next milestone of the Large Hadron Collider is to find dark matter, which makes up most of the universe. We are made of atoms. We only make up 4% of the universe. Dark okay. matter, dark energy make up much more. Okay, Michio Kaku, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much.